Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video, and today we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from November of 2018. Let's start off with books and magazines. No books this month, but I did get one magazine, a June 1988 issue of Rock Express with Van Hagar on the cover. My favorite things in here are the Scorpions ad and a Thomas Dolby interview. Let's just move on to the category of miscellaneous. I got a vintage plastic Mickey Mouse pin, a Hello Kitty eraser, and three vintage shaped Garfield erasers. That is wild. Found a really old cardboard box from a 60 minute Sony audio cassette and a plastic canister that once held a roll of far more 35 millimeter camera film. I got five more Wade ceramics. There's a monkey, a rabbit, a jaguar, a raccoon, and a chicken. I got 16 slides. These are from North Carolina, Shenandoah National Park, Beckley Exhibition Mine, and Virginia. And I got two vintage ornaments for my tree, a little deer in the snow, and a pelican going fishing. I picked up an extra Fender guitar string, a 2014 PNC Pops ticket for Heinz Hall, and some cool Alaska stuff, a sticker from the Top of the World Hotel, a bill of history from Soapy Smith's Soap Shop, and some really cool postcards. Muckluck Land. Very cool 1978 newspaper ad for Ralph Bakshi's Lord of the Rings, and an old ad for Brunch with Santa, only $2.50 at the new Kensington Civic Theater. And on the other side, Come and see the goodies at the Hole in the Wall in Lower Burl. Ooh, how kinky. Here's a great score. A 1982 Pizza Hut E.T. glass. It's the phone home one, which is one that I didn't have. And I picked up this 1983 Masters of the Universe mug. Very cool, very nice. Now, let's check out my audio scores. Only found one vinyl LP this month, but it's one I've looked for for a while now. Heavy, by one of the great character actors, Victor Buono. Got picture sleeve seven inches of Ball of Confusion by The Temptations, this 1980 Italian disco record by Homo Sapiens, and the classic 60s parody song, Leader of the Laundromat by The Detergents. I also got records by Lou Monte, Roger Miller, Nancy Sinatra, Fats Domino, Ernie K. Doe, Neil Sedaka, and Dwayne Eddy. And I found this 1975 sound sheet record that came with Dynamite Magazine, Count Morbida's Chamber of Horrors. Follow me. And just for the record, uh, don't plan on being back in time for milk and cookies. Yeah. <laughs> and on Paula Records, a special DJ sample of tracks from an album called Pass a Good Time with Justin Wilson. I got a friend that live in a little town in South Louisiana, and I want you all to know that he's not an alcoholic, no. He's not a drunkard, too. He's a wine head. <laughs> got one eight track this month, but it's a great one. Love It to Death by Alice Cooper. I found a 30-year-old cassette that was put out by local Pittsburgh station WDVE, featuring a song from the first Clark's album that came out in 1988. Speaking of Pittsburgh, I got Back on the Streets by Donny Iris, great album. And I got cassettes by Sammy Hagar, the original cast of Saturday Night Live, Wings, ZZ Top, Prince, and Queen. And I got 27 more CDs. Genesis, Pink Floyd, Jimi Hendrix, Styx, Eric Clapton, Electric Light Orchestra, B.B. King, Stanley Jordan, Love Unlimited, Ricky Lee Jones, Madonna, Paramore, Betsy, Phil Collins, Billy Joel, Talking Heads, The Police, Berlin, Morris Day, XTC, Jean Loves Jezebel, New Order, Squeeze, Howard Jones, Firehose, and two CDs by Ozzy Osbourne. Okay, let's move on from audio to video. I got a hundred more DVDs, Blu-rays, and box sets. Got three Blu-rays, The Dark Knight, Ocean's 13, and Swordfish. TV stuff, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 5, The Flintstones Season 1, MASH Season 1, Brooklyn Nine-Nine Season 1, and You Bet Your Life Volume 3. 
80s stuff. Stripes, Little Miss Marker, Footloose, Red Dawn, National Lampoon's Vacation, and Beetlejuice. Comedies. I got Ed Wood, Benny and June, Joe vs. the Volcano, The Longest Yard, Hot Tub Time Machine, 21 Jump Street, The Gun and Betty Lou's Handbag, Gross Anatomy, and Betsy's Wedding, Biodome, Back to School, and PCU, My Fellow Americans, Road Trip, The Essential Ernest Collection, Disaster Movie, Midnight in Paris, Duplex, Fever Pitch, Never Been Kissed, Wayne's World, and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Excellent! Sci-fi. I got The Fifth Element, Armageddon, Evolution, Cowboys and Aliens, Galaxy Quest, and The Sixth Day. I'm a cop, you idiot! I'm Detective John Kimball. Got classics like The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, West Side Story, a four-movie classic Western collection, Cornbread, Earl, and Me, The Deer Hunter, Portrait of Jenny, Operation Pacific, and my favorite Robert Altman movie, Brewster McCloud. Action movies. I got Die Hard with a Vengeance, Transporter 3, Smoking Aces, and Smoking Aces 2. A 10 movie pack called Thrills, and The Spy Next Door. I got the Sean Connery 007 Collection Volume 2 with Thunderball, You Only Live Twice, and Diamonds Are Forever. Plus, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, Trespass, Signs, Congo, Casino, Appointment for a Killing, Wordplay, Eddie Izzard Circle, and the Midnight Special DVD. Lots of great bands on here. Superheroes. I got Mystery Men, X-Men, Suicide Squad, and this awesome four-movie Superman set. Horror movies. Bram Stoker's Dracula, Blade Trinity, Automaton Transfusion, Black Sheep, Bela Lugosi Horror Collection, Night Watch, Wrong Turn 2, Jeepers Creepers 2, Underworld Rise of the Lycans, The Phantom of the Opera, and The Lon Chaney Silent One, The Strangers, Red Water, The Number 23, Infernal, Haunted Ghost Stories, the Stepfather, As Above, So Below, I Know Who Killed Me, Masters of Horror, Jennifer, and Growth. Kid Stuff, The Secret of Nim, Tiny Toon Adventures, Saludos Amigos, Rocky and Bullwinkle, Fraggle Rock, The Lorax, The Thirteen Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, and The Apple Dumpling Gang Double Feature. And Christmas Stuff, I got Elf, The Smurfs Holiday Celebration, The House Without a Christmas Tree, and A Christmas Story. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. And I found these two VHS C tapes. This one is David as a baby, and that's literally what it is. This unmarked one is Somebody's Thanksgiving 1996, starring Grandma. R.I.P. Grandma. Probably. And now it's time for the last category, toys and games. I got some more video games. For the DS, I got Imagine Figure Skater and Club Penguin Elite Force. For the PS3, I got Dance on Broadway. And for the PS2, I got Karaoke Revolution Party, Guitar Hero World Tour, Rock Band, The Da Vinci Code, Beach Volleyball Summer Heat, Alone in the Dark, and Rocky. Because I'm too old to waste my time trying to train a no-good loser like you. For Xbox 360, I got Disney Infinity. And for Xbox, I got World Championship Poker, the Sims Bustin' Out, and Outlaw Golf 2. And for the Wii, I got Mario Sports Mix, Sean White Snowboarding, Hannah Montana Spotlight World Tour, Active Personal Trainer, Just Dance 4, Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party, Cars International Championship, and Disney Universe. Plus, I got my third nunchuck. One more to go, and I'll have all four. One, two, three, four. I got a bunch of Harry Potter Viewmasters, some still brand new, but I was super excited to find these 1974 Happy Days Viewmasters. Hey, whoa. I got 13 different color slides for the 70s Kenner Give a Show projector, featuring Warner Brothers and Hanna-Barbera characters. Some of you may remember the video where my mom and me looked at it. I also found this pack of 1981 Etch-A-Sketch Action Pack Fun Screens. They're clear plastic templates you can put on an Etch-A-Sketch for even more fun. Damn! I finally found a 1981 Whippet puzzle from LJN. It's great to have one, even though I know I'll never solve it. I was psyched to find this 1992 Captain Crunch Smedley Glow-in-the-Dark Puzzle Cereal Box Prize. Still sealed. That's rare. And I got some trading cards. 
two packs of Topps Kmart Anniversary Baseball Cards. These ones are from their 20th anniversary in 1982, and these from their 25th anniversary in 1987. I also found these five strange Ultra Pro cards, three 1991 Upper Deck Holograms, one 1978 Topps Basketball Card, a recent Wacky Packages sticker, a Rogue One card, even I was fooled into initially thinking it was a Return of the Jedi card, 92 Pokemon cards, I broke the Pokemon bank, and a sealed pack of 1992 Berenstain Bears story cards. And I got a pack of Beatles Yellow Submarine playing cards. There's some great images on these. I also got 84 Pogs and 4 Slammers. Here's the Slammers. One of them is a Power Rangers power disc for McDonald's. I also found these five small Hanna-Barbera Pogs from Arby's and a couple of Pogman Pogs from Super Pretzel. Lots of Disney Pogs, a Casper Pog, a Jurassic Park Pog, and a couple of Little Rascals Pogs. Many of these Pogs are from the company TKO, and some of them are pretty special. I also got one of the infamous Grunger Pogs, Necroman, Sinbad the Blabe, this horribly drawn skeleton playing Pogs, Native American Holographic Madness, and sharing a hairdo with a horse. <laughs> As always, I got some small toys and figures. I got a Mighty Bean, an Alien, three Shopkins, two Crazy Bones with some stickers, one Bakugan Brawler, and I'm done collecting them. I filled up the case, plus a mummy and a duck. And the Force was with me. I got eight Star Wars figures. There's a Galactic Heroes Chewbacca, a couple different fins, a couple 1997 figures of Lando Calrissian and the ATST driver, a 1996 Endor Princess Leia figure from Applause, and I was most excited about these two 1993 Bendoms, C-3PO and the Emperor. And now it's time for the find of the month. A 1977 Laverne and Shirley board game from Parker Brothers. You travel around the board doing boring stuff like putting up your hair and watching TV. If you're lucky, maybe you get to eat lunch out. Schlemiel Schlemazel, Haas and Pfeffer Incorporated. That game cost me almost three dollars. But I still got everything that you saw in this video for about... thirty dollars. I hope that you enjoyed my thrift store haul from November of 2018. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube. He a wine head. <laughs>